Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a very exciting unboxing on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So I got the 128GB model in gold, and uh, this is basically the same that I got last year. I got the 12 Pro Max, also in gold, also 128 gigs. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing a walkthrough for you guys on the phone. And then I also have some accessories, also have the screen protector, it's just not here right now. But yeah, so these are what I'm going to be unboxing for you guys. And then we're just going to talk a bit about my thoughts on the iPhone 13 Pro Max and what you can expect from the phone. I do want to apologize for the late upload of this unboxing. The iPhones only just came out in South Africa on the 8th of October and then I also just needed some time to film for you guys so I'm sorry for the late upload but I figured uh, just take my time then and just get a good video for you guys so sorry if it is a bit late. But okay let's get into the unboxing. Okay so this is the box the phone comes in. Uh, we have our iPhone at the front, we have some iPhones text at the sides and then more information about the phone in the back. It's uh, pretty similar to last year's box. It's not like very different or anything. Uh, just have some design changes here and there. But um, what is different this year with the unboxing experience though is we don't have plastic anymore. It is sealed with these little tabs here. This has a cool little mechanism that it's kind of sealed inside the box. So you can't actually see the seal breaking, but um, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool and uh, I think it's better than plastic, honestly. So that is how it is sealed this year. So you know your phone is all good. But um, getting into the box, the first thing obviously you see when taking off the lid is the iPhone itself. I absolutely love this color still. I know it's the same that I got last year, but I absolutely love the kind of off-white look that the gold iPhones have. And then the touches of gold at the sides and on the um, rims of the lenses and things like that. So I absolutely love the look of it. And then we have our normal Apple unboxing experience. So first off, we have our little holder with all our booklets. So we have the SIM eject tool, then we have some other information about the iPhone, and then lastly, we have our good old Apple sticker that we get every year. And then we also have our charger cable here. So this is just the default cable. Again, no charger brick this year, but Luckily I have one, but I am feeling sad for the people who don't, so um, yeah, we have USB-C to lightning cable, pretty standard now, so yeah, that is the charger of a cable that you get inside the box with the 13 Pro Max. Moving on further the box, we're going to take a closer look at the iPhone, so design wise there's not much to say that's different from last year. What I do like that they started doing with the iPhones last year is this little sticker that they put on the screen. Uh, it has little icons that tell you what the buttons are at the side. So we have our little silencer switch here. We have our volume controls and then we also have our SIM card slot. So that is everything on the one side and then the other side we have our lock button. Here in South Africa, we don't have that 5G antenna band that most of the iPhones have in other countries. Uh, just because 5G really is just not optimized here yet. So that is something that is missing with this iPhone, which you'll see probably in other people's unboxings. Um, and then we have our display, so I'm going to turn it on in a bit. But here at the bottom, you can see our charging port and also our stereo speaker. If you didn't know, this iPhone actually comes in four colors, Sierra Blue, Silver, Gold and Graphite. Sierra Blue is a new color that they added this year and it's actually a beautiful color. I just decided Gold's just my favorite, but yeah, you have four colors. I did also just want to show you guys the screen protector that I got. So it's from this brand called Move. I don't really know. I got it from the iStore, so. But uh, it's actually really nice. So here you see you have the preparation booklet thing. And in here you also have some of the application tools. So you have your cleansing wipe here. And you also have your sticker that kind of takes the dust off. And then we also have our microfiber cloth. And then for the actual like application, it has this cool thing that you put your phone into. So you kind of just drop the screen protector on there. It's the coolest thing. But anyway, so this is the cover that I decided to go with this year. It is an Apple cover, leather, and in black. I absolutely love Apple's covers. I actually had one last year as well, but only a silicone one in orange. So this is quite the opposite. It's very muted tone, something you're gonna have to get used to. Um, but the covers unboxing experience is pretty plain and simple. You do have some papers inside that just gives you additional information about the cover and everything. Also, the feeling of the leather is really nice and inside you'll see you have this kind of like felt type of material. It's very soft. So here is the cover. What I love about Apple's covers, especially the MagSafe covers, is that you have that little animation when you put the cover on that kind of coincides with the color of your cover. 
and also it's just MagSafe, which is nice. So yeah, a little problem I have with letter cases is just that it kind of scuffs up, but I also know that's kind of part of what makes it so unique. So yeah, I'm gonna see how it holds up and if I can actually like preserve it. But yeah, that is the cover that I decided to go with. Um, now we're just powering on the phone and just waiting for that pop-up screen. I love this hello screen that's now with the setup process. I just think it looks so cool. It's kind of like that theme Apple's going for. I immediately noticed the 120 hertz when it just scrolled through the languages. I could immediately tell it was 120 hertz. It was so cool. So I love it. I'm so excited for testing it out further. Okay, so that was the unboxing portion of this video. So there really isn't a lot that is new with this phone compared to last year's model. In the box, everything is the same. Looks wise, everything is kind of the same. There are a few differences. So I have the phone here. I'm just gonna take it out of its case real quick so I can actually show you guys. So here's the phone, it's out of its cover. So I just, I set it up and everything. But um, here you can see the only biggest differences looks wise for this phone compared to last year's model is the big camera module and then also we have um the smaller notch at the front it's not like so noticeably different but there is definitely a difference so yeah that's like the biggest differences looks wise for the 13 compared to the 12s but i do want to get into some of the specs of the iphone 13 pro max that is where the biggest differences lie again not a lot this is more of an s upgrade year but there is some differences that i want to talk about so we have a 6.7 inch display on the pro max model and the biggest difference this year is the 120 hertz refresh rate they call it the pro motion display i know androids have had this for years but we finally got it on iphone and i'm so happy i could immediately notice it when even when the setup and everything I can notice that there is 120 Hertz and I'm just I'm really excited to be testing out even more it's not like super noticeably different when you're just doing random tasks on your phone but there are times where it like really hits you that it is 120 Hertz so I'm happy about this and I'm yeah I'm sure most people are as for performance we now have the a15 bionic chip in the iPhone 13 lineup and um, obviously it is faster that's why it is a different chip but it's not like noticeably faster from last year's model I'm sure if you're going from an older iPhone it will be more noticeable but uh, I don't expect to see much difference in speed in the coming years sure certain aspects will be faster but it can get much faster than it already is so yeah speed wise like always it is very good it also has a 5 core GPU which according to Apple will give you five times faster graphic performance so I'm excited to see how that looks with with games and everything or so just like video editing things like that so yeah we do have a faster GPU as well in here battery life also got an upgrade this year which I'm very thankful for I did notice a little lack in battery in my 12 Pro Max last year so it wasn't like terrible but it wasn't the best so we did get it quite an upgrade so you have two and a half more hours of battery life on the pro max model and then one and a half hours more on the just the pro so battery life definitely was improved this year so i'm excited to be testing that out after a while and seeing how that actually holds up so yeah I'm very thankful for better life being upgraded this year now for the camera so this is where probably the most differences lie this year and I'm gonna be going more in detail about all the features and everything about this camera hey guys so quick interruption um, I was planning on talking a lot about the cameras in this video but I decided I was gonna do a separate video on that because there is a lot to say about the cameras. I thought having a separate video for that would probably be better. So yeah, I didn't talk about the cameras in this video, but uh, there are some improvements. Uh, we have now have a lot of new features. Three times zoom is now in. Uh, we have macro lenses. We have cinematic mode, ProRes, all that stuff that I'm going to be talking more about in my like full review of the cameras. So that will be coming and just didn't film that in this video because I was planning on including it, but like it just didn't work out. So yeah, the camera are better definitely this year and I'm really excited to be testing out the rest like I've said I'm don't, I haven't had the phone for that long so yeah definitely be on the lookout for that video and um yeah that's all, basically all I wanted to say for this oh yeah and this is being filmed currently with cinematic mode on the selfie camera of the iPhone 13 Pro Max uh, so far it looks pretty good I'm still testing it out and everything but I feel like it looks pretty good with the blurry background and everything Again, this is like the selfie camera, it's not even the back cameras. Um, I'm gonna switch over to the back camera so you can actually see what it looks like with cinematic mode. So this is cinematic mode on the back camera. I'm pretty sure the difference in quality is gonna be noticeable from the back. So let me know what you guys think and also leave a comment down below 
what you guys would like me to discuss more in like the full camera review if there's something that you're more curious about uh, definitely leave a comment down below and I would love to include that in the video but yeah that was just my quick little interruption because I didn't want to just like leave the camera out completely so I didn't forget I just I was planning on including it but just separate video I think will be better so yeah just that was all <laughs> we could get back to the video now if you didn't know last year's models with the pro and pro max there was some differences within the camera between the two models but luckily this year with the pro lineup all the cameras on the pro and pro max are exactly the same which I think is really nice so if you were wanting to go for the pro you don't have to worry about missing out on any features let's be honest if you had a 12 pro max like i did last year you don't need the upgrade really the only biggest thing you might want to upgrade for is the 120 hertz display and also the camera system so the camera is probably one of the biggest things that did change this year we got some cool new features and everything that i want to discuss since that is probably one of the biggest things that changed so yeah that was my unboxing on the iphone 13 pro max and some of my first impressions i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm very excited to be testing this out further i might do a review in the future that's a bit more in depth about my personal opinions and everything so yeah this was just the unboxing portion and some key things i wanted to discuss like i said it's not really necessary to upgrade from the 12 pro max to the 13 pro max or even just like the 12 pro or anything you still have amazing performance and camera and everything on that model the only reason i really upgraded was because i have this youtube channel so without this i probably wouldn't have upgraded i do recommend this phone a lot though i absolutely love it uh 120 hertz has been amazing and everything and also the cameras so obviously not big of differences compared to last year but i still love this phone if you were still on 11 or something i definitely recommend you upgrade if you can the design of this iphone since the 12s came out this has definitely been my favorite i know we have some older iconic like models like the fours and everything and then we also have like the seven which was personally one of my favorites like the little one the plus um those are some of my favorites but this definitely beats all of them the square design and everything and i'm excited to see next year's model because we've seen some cool rumors there so yeah i just wanted to say i do recommend this phone i absolutely love it um but you do not need to upgrade if you don't want to but okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any other questions you might have for me regarding this phone definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen click on the playlist to see all of my other tech related videos and click on the videos from previously uploaded video i'll see you guys next time bye